Want to know how to grow avocados? They are one of the superfoods of choice, whether chopped up in salads, added to sandwiches or burgers, mushed to guacamole, whisked into a smoothie, smashed on toast, and all manner of other uses. This rich, creamy, and versatile fruit is a pure delight. Quick and easy, planting avocados is a fun project and also a great one to do with children. Imagine being able to pick your own homegrown avocados. The good news is that you could, although you will need plenty of patience as it's a bit of a waiting game. In the meantime though, you will be able to enjoy the beautiful house plant with its large glossy leaves. Hello friends, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how I grew uh, these avocado plants. By the time I am ready to post this video, look at how they have um, grown. Avocado is almost everyone's uh, favorite these days and uh, I can eat avocado with almost every meal and even the orange juice, the fresh orange juice whether I prepare sandwich, pizza or even my Indian meal I enjoy avocado with almost all my meal so I decided to grow my own avocado Avocado grows really well in a tropical weather. I live in Florida, so um, I thought of just uh, trying with the Florida avocado. But then, while I was doing this uh, Florida avocado, I thought of uh, trying out um, hash avocados, uh, Mexico avocados as well. Here I have the store-bought avocado. Now, when I want to use avocado seed for planting, I cut the avocado in half and uh, remove the seed with hand. Do not use knife because you don't want to damage the seed. So I usually use my hand to remove the avocado seed, then wash it properly and then dry, pet dry or just dry a little bit before ready to plant. Using your saved avocado stone undamaged, clean off any residue and left to dry, you can start it off in water or plant straight into compost. To start in water, Soak the avocado stone in water to remove all the remaining fruit but not the brown skin. You want to keep the brown skin. Place the avocado stone bottom down in water. You may need to double check but the pointed end is up. The flatter end is the root and this is what needs to go in water. You can wedge the avocado into perfectly uh, per portion for this purpose. Clear glass topped up with water. If you can't find one, that's the perfect fit. Use this trick using toothpicks. Hook the toothpicks into the avocado stone. You can hook on two sides or four sides um, and make sure that the avocado stone floats in water. Here I have the one that I planted a month ago. Look at how it has sprouted. The seed is broken now and uh, you can see lots of roots at the bottom. I keep on changing water every week. As you can see, some of the leaves have sprouted already. So it is recommended to transfer the avocado seed into the taller glass cup or bottle and I'm going to wait until it has quite good amount of leaves. Now place the avocado by a sunny window. Change the water once a week to keep it fresh. The avocado should sprout within a month. This particular place in my house gets a good sunlight. So I keep all my plants in this area. The second method might be better if the water is particularly salty where you live as avocados do not like saline water. So simply just dig a small hole into the pot and keep the pointed part on top and the flat at the bottom. Cover with the soil and water. Now to germinate the avocado seed faster, here is what I do. Just rinse the avocado seed and pat dry. Simply just cut the tip of the one side of avocado, the pointed side of the avocado, not the flat side, like so. Next, 
push the avocado seed into the soil keeping the pointed cut part facing up and out cover the seed lightly with soil water lightly let me show you how avocado seed grows with the first method as you can see this is the one that I planted earlier that I showed um, and uh, it is already broken a lot of roots at the bottom as well um, but the top part takes a little time so the second method helps to germinate the avocado faster so this is this is my favorite method to follow now if the weather is cold below 70 degrees Fahrenheit be sure to cover the pot to keep warm I recommend to grow a few avocado seeds because not all of them will successfully sprout and will work so as you can see here I have a few of them look at this one now it's doing really well and now ready to be planted outside in the pot or can be planted directly in the ground plant out when the avocado sprout is about 15 cm tall once the sprout is this length cut it back to around 10 cm to boost new growth then when it reaches 15 cm again pot it up use rich compost and aim for a pot with a 25 cm diameter place back on the windowsill and water regularly so that the soil is always moist if leaves yellow you are over watering Once the avocado sprout is about 30 cm tall, pinch out the top two sets of leaves. Repeat this every time the sprout grows another 15 cm. Doing so will encourage bushy growth. When it comes to taking care of avocado plant, place the pot in a warm sunny position. A conservatory is ideal. Water your avocado plant lightly but often. Let the soil dry out between watering and always water from below. Don't let your avocado plant sit in water. It will not like very wet or dry conditions. If the leaves turn brown at the tips, the plant needs more water. If they turn yellow, it is getting too much water, so leave it to dry out for a day or two. Feed the plant with liquid fertilizer every two to three weeks when young, and once established, feed with general pot plant feed every seven to ten days during spring and summer and less regularly every six to eight weeks in autumn and winter avocado plants are quick growing so you will probably have to pot on into bigger pots at least once a year you will know they need this when they start to need more watering and look a bit droopy the plants can grow very tall so pinch out the growing tip to make it grow more side shoots and be bushier rather than taller. If kept in a warm conservatory, the plant may start to produce flowers from about the third year. Your avocado plant can produce fruit one day, but this can take up to 10 years. Until then, enjoy this wonderful house plant. I am just simply loving um, gardening and you know trying out different uh, fruits, vegetables and uh, citruses. Citruses are also one of my favorite and uh, um, I already have the the big lemon tree but then now I thought that uh, we drink a lot of uh, fresh orange juice. I am trying to get my hands on oranges now. Um, so I have planted a couple of uh, in a couple of pots. I threw all the seeds that I uh, get from the you know oranges that I buy from the market. Uh, I have heard a lot of time that uh, the the citrus plants don't do well uh, if they are bought uh, if they are like grown from the seed. But uh, my lemon tree were, is also from the seed. You know, one of one time I had a great lemon. So we thought planting the, the seeds for that lemon and I can see the great results every year it's blooming like anything. So I want to try oranges now. Uh, let's see if that works out um, or not and I'm hoping that it will. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinterest Baunas Kitchen is everywhere you can also watch me on a big tv screen using roku amazon fire or youtube app itself thanks for watching and see you soon